Picasso has to go wide, all down at the Ascari chicane. I think I have. Y'all are stupid. That was like the dumbest sequence of re-entering the track I've ever seen consecutively. Both of them are so, so dumb. What is going on guys, it is JJ here, back with a new video, and today we're going to take a look at the 2019 Italian Grand Prix, we are, we've taken a look at 2021 on the channel, this, I think we did that when we first started watching F1 on the channel, so I'll leave that in a little info card here, and as well, I will leave the 2020 version uh, of the race, which I'm, if I'm not mistaken, that was Pierre Gasly's one, was that not? I'm not quite sure off the top of my head. I believe it was 2020 Monza. Don't quote me on that. But anyway, we're gonna take a look at the 2019 Italian Grand Prix. Obviously, with this being a bit of an F1 channel, bit of a footy channel, we're still mixing up the content. I will not be around and available this weekend. Uh, just will be on the road, traveling, uh, trying to enjoy the last of the summer, as I hope you guys are as well. Uh, but nonetheless, we will still hopefully have some content out regarding F1. Maybe we'll live stream from where I'll be at uh, for Monza. For some reason, I thought Monza already happened, but it was Imola that I was thinking of, the, the first of the two Italian Grand Prix races. Uh, they had the F1 Sprint at Monza, so maybe we'll take a look at that as well for Saturday. But for now, Friday, I hope you guys are having a really, really good day. We're gonna take a look at the 2019 Italian Grand Prix for the first time outside of the celebrations, which we've taken a look at, so I know who's gonna win the race. Um, but I don't know how they get there, or the outcome that you know, gets to that point, uh, besides seeing a Mercedes and a Ferrari in the front row. So, let's get into the race so we can figure out how it unfolds. Let's get into the video. As well, guys, you can find the original video down in the description below. Uh, as well, we will probably still have a different Monza video. Uh, more on that to come. But yeah, let's get into this. It's lights, lights out, out. No away we go. go. Leclerc gets away well. Hamilton and out. Bottas now jockeying for position. And Hamilton coming alongside Charles Leclerc with Bottas now with some free space. Sebastian mm. Vettel behind him. Ricardo on the out. Don't you just miss the Leclerc Vettel combo? It's, it's going to be so weird to not see Sebastian Vettel on the grid. I really don't like that. I don't like it at all. Outside of but it is what it Leclerc is. goes into the first chicane ahead and just ahead as well by a matter of inches and the Mercedes gets a bit the snatched. At the back, I think. The oh, what the hell the happened back. there? Outbreaking himself Three and having to go through the chicane along with it. Sergio Perez as well. Broken front wing, I believe, if uh, on the Red Bull that was at the back of the pack. Hamilton got a little bit pinched, but he's ahead of his teammate Valtteri Bottas is into the second chicane. We go and Nico Hulkenberg Who is that? goes past yeah, Sebastian Nico Hulkenberg. Vettel and Renault getting ahead of the Ferrari. That is bad news indeed. Go on, Nico. Here we are at the start once again. Pierre Gasly just ahead of Max Verstappen. As actually what said, are you, what are you doing, Max? Cautious. Max being extremely cautious. They slowed down, and his closing speed was a bit more, I think, than he actually yeah. felt was going to be uh, happening. And we are on oh, board as well on. with Alex Albon. Look at that and boy, was he late on the brakes there. Carlos Sainz might have thought he was safe. He wasn't, but he's going to fight back now into the first of the two Lesmo corners. Alex Albon on the outside. And Carlos Sainz oh, and they pushed touch. Him off. And Albon goes off onto the gravel. And he's going to lose places as a result of that. Meanwhile, Daniel Ricciardo has just got past his teammate Nico Hulkenberg. And Ricciardo moves up into fifth place. Fair play. Yeah, no, Ricardo loves him. Oh and my god, Vettel. Oh, he's, oh he's coming onto the track just and as that's long. An Stroll goes past him as well. as well. And Stroll now comes back onto the track. And Pierre Gasly in the Toro Rosso has to go wide, all down at the Ascari chicane. I think I have. Y'all are stupid. That was like the dumbest sequence of re entering the track I've ever seen consecutively. Both of them are so, so dumb. I'm um, so. Vettel, don't know what the hell you're doing. Takes out Lance Stroll. Lance Stroll, don't know what the hell you're doing. Takes out Pierre Gasly and could have potentially taken out others. Like, you have to know you messed that up big time. That's so bad. The front left. Right, so that's yeah. Sebastian Vettel spinning all on his own. Comes back under the track. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Now, and takes out Vettel. He, he, he might not have takes seen out Stroll, Stroll. But I don't know if he was looking to see who Stroll's was coming through. And then Stroll like, through. screw it. Just came back on the circuit like an idiot. Lance did and the same you then did the same to thing. Toro Rosso. Sebastian Vettel has just... Do you, do you not see the irony in that? Do you not see the irony in Lance Stroll saying that and then doing the exact same thing he did? I can't, I can't, 
uh, I'm not, I'm not, God, I'm such a big, I'm a huge Lance Stroll hater. But it's not even like anything against him personally. I just think he can be really dumb on the Being circuit sometimes. A 10 second stop go penalty. Hamilton now pulls out to have a go at Leclerc. Leclerc stays ahead by about a car length and a half. This is brilliant racing. Very smart it's great positioning defending. of his car it's there great from defending. Charles Leclerc. And he did, as you say, get some DRS. He's going for it again, Lewis Hamilton. Got a great exit out of the chicane. Round the curve of Grande they go. Is it a Grande move from Lewis Hamilton towards the Delaware? Roger Chicane, no, the Leclerc's on the inside, Hamilton goes on to the gravel and has to take the escape I've seen and this and you can hear the cheers from Monza all the way back to Stevenage, the it's, Ferrari it's, it's, fans it's, 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 loved it, it's, 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 Whatever anyone else might think of this move, the home to Fossi absolutely loved it. Was there enough cars with there? No. He has been shown the black and white flag. That means don't do that again. Carlos Sainz has left the yeah, pit. Yeah, it's a loose wheel. They had it a is problem a loose with wheel. it. They had a problem with it in the pit stop. They took it off, put it on, took it off again, and then put it on again. And that is such a shame. That's a, a race retirement. They have to stop, otherwise they would have been disqualified. That is Danny Kriat, who just pitted a lap before. Oh, it doesn't sound good. Oh, dear. Just oh, always Leclerc there. locks up too far behind. Leclerc locks up, goes through the chicane. Hamilton now is right on the rear wing of that Ferrari. And once again to the Curva Grande we go. And Hamilton is going to have a go. Which way this time? Wanted to go round the outside. Has to switch Leclerc to the inside. Is not, he's Leclerc making the is track making so it very tiny. difficult indeed by zigzagging over from one side to the other of the track. And Hamilton can't force his way past. Some damage is driving going on. Copy this, we're seeing it. He's driving for his life out there, isn't he? Trying to keep that Mercedes behind him. I have my tires left. Just to keep that pressure on Lucy or forcing him into errors. Oh, lock up from Lewis Hamilton goes on into the runoff area at that it's first cost chicane. Him second. Well, they're already cheering in the grandstands for that one, and it has cost him second. Lewis Hamilton, yeah, after putting the pressure on Charles geez. Leclerc to make mistakes, has now made one Charles himself. Leclerc. I think Charles that Leclerc releases survived. Valtteri Bottas uh, into a very handy position there on his fresh fresh air tyres. So hunting down. There's 12 laps to go. The gap Bottas is going to try. Six seconds. It's now half a second, and he's got DRS as well. Will Valtteri Bottas be able to go for it into this chicane? No. But what he needs now oh, he's oh, is he's to avoid wide. locking up in the way that he did. He just needed a good exit out. Like immediately when they're talking about things he should not do. What does Valtteri Bottas do? He does them. It's such. It's so painful. It's so chicane, painful to see. And then the chance was there. He can see the celebration starting. It's all He's his got now. One it's all his now. Famous Parabolica to go. Mercedes threw everything at him today. Charles Leclerc has coped brilliantly. He won in Spa. He wins in Monza. Charles Leclerc is the winner of the 2019 Italian Grand Prix. You've done it. Charles Leclerc <laughs> celebrates uh, Lewis Hamilton on the podium for the huge sixth consecutive year uh, here at Monza. We mentioned too uh, that Renault uh, take a big haul of points in the Constructors' Championship. McLaren, they scored with Lando Norris today. He finished 10th in the end. Antonio Giovinazzi, 9th Italian uh, point scorer there. His best finish in Formula 1. Verstappen came home to finish 8th behind Sergio Perez. Alex Albon uh, couldn't quite get past Hülkenberg. He had to take 6th. Uh, George Russell in the Williams finished 14th in the end. We lost Science Kriat and Magnussen as retirements in this race. Charles Leclerc but, but it is all Charles Leclerc. It is all Leclerc's day. Okay, that is such a good race. I, I remember seeing the battle now between Hamilton and Leclerc. I don't know how he was able to keep him off of him. 
I don't know how he did it. And then to see Lewis sort of crumble like that towards the end is amazing. That's actually such a sick rate. And, I mean, what is it, the ramifications of that? Who, I think Ferrari hadn't won in Monza for years at this point, if I'm not mistaken, correct? We can go to the comments to see. We can, we can go to the comments to check. Because why not? Why not go to the comments to check? It's just amazing that Goosebumps, Charles Leclerc, you've done it. We want Leclerc to win again. He won't win again. Fun fact, this is not the first time you have watched this. Probably not. It probably is not the first time I've watched. I feel like I have not seen this before in its entirety. But nonetheless, let me know what you guys think about the 2019 Monza Italian Grand Prix. Hopefully, this weekend will be just as good. Fingers crossed on that. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.